Boise has four distinct, beautiful seasons. But what most people don't realize in moving to the area is just how mild those seasons actually are. So what can you expect in winter, spring, summer, or fall here in the Treasure Valley? Well, keep watching and I'll show you. Hi, I'm Jennifer Louie with Welcome to Boise and Beyond. I'm a realtor here with Silver Creek Realty Group in the beautiful Treasure Valley. Come with me as I take you on a tour of this wonderful area. Growing up in Arizona and living in many different warm, sunny climates, I was used to doing all sorts of outdoor activities all year round, and the weather really wasn't a hindrance or an issue. So one of the things that pleasantly uh, surprised me when I moved to this area several years ago is even though there are four distinct seasons, they're very mild and I could be outdoors all year round. Many moving here from warmer states imagine heavy snow in the winter. The surrounding mountains and foothills do get a good amount of snow, but down in the valley where most of us live, there's actually very few snow days. On average, it snows about 18 inches a year in the area, where the national average is 28 inches. The cold season starts in November and lasts through March. December and January are the coldest months of the year, with temperatures dropping down into the teens and a few days of zero degrees. By February, it does start to warm up, However, it's not uncommon for there to be a cold front that passes through and we can see a bit of snow, sometimes even in April. Another fact that surprises most people moving to the area is just how much sunshine this area does get. Boise is considered above average on sunny days when compared to other U.S. cities. Spring shows up around mid-March and temperatures can drastically vary during this season. This is by far my favorite time of the year as the city of trees blossoms and flowers start popping up daily. Temperatures range from the 50s and sometimes a few 80 degrees show up. Springs also when we will get a lot of precipitation in the area contributing to all the greenery. Summer temperatures average in the high 80s and 90s and the average temperatures between the three hottest months, July through September, average at over 82 degrees with the warmest part of the day peaking at around 6 p.m. Triple digit days do exist and can last for up to two to three weeks. Evenings and nights tend to cool down and have clear skies. Wildfires are a risk in Idaho. However, Boise tends to struggle more with the smoke from these fires than the fires themselves. There's also a lot of light here in summer. It can stay light out until after 10 p.m. in midsummer. Fall is one of the most sought after seasons here in the area. September is one of the more temperate months with temperatures in the 70s and 80s and nights starting to really cool off. As October arrives, the leaves in the city of trees begin to change into an array of fall colors and the air becomes crisp and cool outside. You can plan on wearing a light jacket in October and finish the month off with a scarf. November will be the first hard frost with the winter temperatures hitting in early December. So what are some of the great activities you can do all year long here in Boise? Uh, in the winter here we have uh, Bogus Basin which is just a half hour away. If I want to do snow skiing, sledding, uh, we have the hot springs which are just around the corner and all over the state. And as it starts to warm up the land and water activities here are endless. For example we have the beautiful Boise River that you can float down all summer long. Not to mention uh, the great parks we have here. Right now I'm in Barber uh, State Park. It's just a beautiful park for hiking, uh, bike riding, uh, whatever you wanna do, it's a great place. So if you'd like to learn more about this wonderful area, make sure to subscribe to my channel and you can find out more about the local community, local businesses, some of the great neighborhoods here, and of course, a few things real estate. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you and please leave a comment below.